Hey Race Monitor fans and welcome back to our video tutorial series. On today's episode uh, we're going to talk about one of the newer features of Race Monitor and that is the addition of media to the app. So we've recently added new functionality to allow races to offer a couple of different types of media within the app. So if your race or race series offers either video or audio or both they can now make that available directly within the Race Monitor app attached directly to that race. So starting off in the directory of Race Monitor, you'll find some new icons next to some of the races within the directory. So if you notice next to a few of the races in the directory that we have pulled up on the screen, there's some new icons on the left that look like a camera. This icon indicates that the race has video that they've made available within the app. Now if a race or series is only offering audio, that icon will look like a speaker. So if we tap on one of those races that has one of the media icons on it and open it up, you'll see a new icon in the lower left of the screen. So if we tap on that media icon, it's going to pull up a menu that will allow us access to the available media in different ways that we can consume that media. So on this particular race, we've got a couple of options. We've got the video with the audio, or we can just have the audio only. So we're going to go ahead and select the video on this and that's going to give us some more options within that media menu. So you can see in this case it's given us three different options and that's going to be the layout of how we view the video. So we're going to go ahead and select the center option which is going to display the video in a fairly large format on the right side of the screen and shift all the timing to the left side of the screen. Now if we want a different layout we can go back into that media icon and select a different layout. So let's select the uh, left one which is going to show the video in a smaller format on the lower right hand corner of the screen and give you more timing information up on the screen. So with any of these layouts you can use the app just like you regularly would so you could swipe up and down left and right whatever you want to do just like you would with the app regularly without the media pulled up. And if you have the Race Monitor Plus upgrade you can still pull that up so you can tap on a racer and pull up their individual lap times and the heads up display just like you normally would. So if we tap on the media icon again and pull up the media menu the third option on the right is going to be a different layout which allows us to make the video as large as we can on the screen with all the information of the timing on the bottom. So that's it for the new media functionality within the app. We hope you enjoyed and uh, look forward to the next video.